Alrighty, hello everyone. This is Alan from MysteryMTG.com, and this is it. This is the space, uh, our new location in Seoul, South Korea. I'll give you a little bit of a walk around. The papers have been signed, the deposit has been sent, and now we have to get to building. So, the first part of the journey, and this is always the most fun part, I think, is figuring out what to do with all of this space and figuring out how to utilize this space well. So this is a step one in opening a game store in Seoul, South Korea. So getting rid of this, we'll have a sound system over there. And then this is the terrace. This is what was the kitchen. So it used to be a bar and it was called Jenny's Bar. And uh, they closed a couple months ago and we took the spot. And it is an interesting spot. So I have to install the uh, heater slash cooler system over here. And then the sound system, the tables, the chairs, designs, candle barras. Um, and here is the, in the summer, this is going to be absolutely amazing. So this opens up. And then you basically have a, you know, an outdoor area. We'll be using it even when it's not the summer. But this is the terrace. And this is kind of a difficult thing, figuring out how to use this properly gonna have to have a big old table over here so this is the surrounding area and uh, there's the main road so it's not too far off but yeah figuring out how to design this is going to be interesting I've actually thought about destroying this wall and then but, but this is kind of nice you can actually have a little bit of a bar area here and uh, people can place orders and do stuff like that over here so that is pretty cool it's going to be a long journey, guys. It's going to be a long journey. I have to clean up a lot of this, and there are some really bad safety issues right now. These things pointing out of the ground have tripped me a million times. I have to figure that out. And so if I turn the lights on, it's pretty dark. It's a pretty dark area. So here is what the kitchen used to be. And uh, it's a lot of space. Of course, product is going to be put over here. Magic the Gathering, Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon, Star Wars Unlimited, Lorcana, etc. A little kitchen is going to be put over here. There's the hot water. And uh, we'll have a little kitchen over here. I'm going to have to clean everything up and um, get rid of this thingy. POS is, of course, going to be right here. It's nice that they left me this bar so we can use that. And then I have to figure out how we're going to best utilize this space. And so the bathrooms are perfectly fine, which is great. Uh, we got two bathrooms, one over here and then one over here. As you can see, pretty nice, right? Pretty nice bathrooms. Little mirror for people to check themselves out. And there we go. Elves and Espresso. Now opening in about a month and a half. I'm going to have to, you know, figure out how we get a lot of this done. So getting shelving up, product displayed, etc. What's going to be safe, what's not safe, what needs to be removed, and of course, upgrading and updating the space. So, Elves and Espresso. I think the plan is to have a sign here, and then, you see, I almost just tripped on those little things. The plan is to have a sign here, and then have that backlit with candle bars on each side, have barrels with lights installed on the top, and then a big old gaming table right out here, smaller two-people tables. And then here is the hardest point, I guess. This is gonna be very difficult to figure out how I want to set this space up because I also need to have product displayed. And so space utilization is going to be a bit difficult, but it's a beautiful place. I mean, it's all brick. And um, I think once lighting is figured out, hanging lights probably, and a railing for the hanging lights. And so this is a long series. It's gonna be a long series because this is a very long process. So let's close this up. And uh, there we are. And uh, I hope you don't mind the mustache. Okay, I know, not people are a big fan of them. I am. Um, uh, so sit you guys down. You know, the issue with this space is about heating. Heating is a kind of big problem that I'm gonna have to address, um, especially for the terrace. It is pretty cold right now. It's starting to get a little warmer. It's not gonna be an issue in the summer. It's not gonna be an issue in the autumn or fall, but when the cold Korean winters come, figuring out how to utilize that space is going to be a little bit difficult because people probably don't wanna play somewhere where it's really cold. 
So I'm going to have to have heaters out there, which is fine. It's not a big deal. And then figuring out how to properly brand this place. So this is the first episode. Uh, a lot of stuff has not been decided yet. A espresso machine has to be purchased. Um, materials for the kitchen have to be purchased. Product has to be brought in. And uh, there's a whole a month and a half of every single day having to come in here and build this place out. It is going to be interesting to say the least. Um, and then of course, I think the biggest issue is if I actually take you outside, let me open this door. This is what the walkway is. And that actually presents a little bit of a safety concern just because when people get drunk, and I, I, I got to be careful about letting people drink here because going downstairs is a little bit of an issue. But we'll have two beers on draft, Obi and Red Rock, which are Korean alcohol brands. And um, we'll have, probably have red wine and white wine and stuff like that. But uh, I got to be careful with people getting too drunk. And uh, we'll have coffee and hopefully people opt into coffee more than they do the alcohol. And I'm going to take you guys onto this journey. And we'll have every single step of the way I'll be filming I'm not good at filming, so keep that in mind. But yeah, here we are. This is the this is the spot. This is the place that will be. There's parking over there. I actually need to figure out uh, where to park my car because <laughs> there's no parking on the main road. So uh, I actually went to this place across the street, OJ People OJ People's Pub, and it's a vinyl place. It's actually kind of cool, but it's really expensive. So. Yeah, I mean, if you guys have any ideas, feel free to shoot them over. I want to keep the, the beautiful brick interior. I want to keep it dark. I want to keep it yellow lit. I want to make it a really cool place to come in and play some D&D, &D, play some Magic the Gathering. And in fact, I would love to take what we do here and then bring it to Texas. And so we'll have this in Texas too, 2.0. And uh, I know it's going to be really, really crazy with as many businesses as we have now. But I'm excited. I think... Um, maybe the most shocking thing thus far has been that Wizards of the Coast Korea no longer exists. Wizards product in Korea is distributed by Asmodee. And I was shocked to hear that. <laughs> I did not think that was the case, but that is the case. And so I'm going to have to figure that out with Asmodee. I think the, the guy, our rep, is really, really nice, so we'll figure that out. But as you can see, there's a little heater there that has to be replaced with something much larger. And then this top part here, I'm going to have to reinforce and seal to make sure that when it rains heavily that it doesn't start dripping onto people as they're playing. But um, yeah, a lot of stuff needs to go into this. <sighs> so here we are. Alan from MysteryMTG.com. Elves and espresso. We go fast. We go fast. An idea comes. And I think the cool thing is that we'll also be opening a Japan location. So we'll have MCG Tokyo. It's a much smaller space, and it's actually just for the Japanese distribution lines. So we'll be getting product that no one else gets and promos that are exclusive, and then games that you just won't find in America for the next three or four years we'll have in stock in Texas. We'll also have it in stock in Korea and in Japan. So, you know, the interesting thing is, you know, I do stuff outside of the game store stuff, and that stuff has been doing really well, and I'm taking some of the profit there and reinvesting it into the TCG slash CCG space and trying to do something cool with that. And, uh, you know, whether or not it'll work, who knows, but luckily this place is so cheap that I can keep it open for like 10 years without a single person coming in and shopping. So that's the hope, is that this is going to be here for a long time and that you guys in America might come to Korea someday and want to visit this shop and it'll be here and you can come play here and you can come have fun, come grab a drink with me and I'll still be in Texas. Um, I'm probably not going to go to Japan. We're doing that in partnership with someone who's there and, and actively lives there and knows the market. But uh, we'll have the distribution contracts, which are important. And then, uh, of course, Magic Product eventually. This, Yeah, it's going to be a lot of work, guys. A lot of work. Here we go. This is it. Alan from MrMTG.com. Welcome to Elves and Espresso. I hope a lot of you can come visit it in person someday. And I hope to make it a beautiful place. And it's going to be expensive, but I think it's going to be worth it. So I will see you guys next time. This is episode one, part one. Nothing has been done, but we'll, we'll get started on that soon. And uh, you'll be with me every step of the way. So if it turns out shitty, you can let me know in the comments. And if you love it, you can also let me know in the comments. I'll see you guys next time. Alan from MysteryMTG.com. Have a great day. Bye-bye.